Uh, hi, I'd like to start out by introducing ourselves. I'm Mary Lee Myers, and this is my husband, Tom. Uh, Tom uh, sustained a traumatic uh, brain injury on June 1st of 2005. Uh, we were on our way to New Jersey, or actually we were in New Jersey, on our way to New York City. And Tom was driving um, a big SUV, and we were headed toward uh, like I said, New York, our son was graduating from Brooklyn Law School. And on 78 East, um, almost into the city, uh, what the police ended up analyzing what happened was a large five pound rough piece of concrete rock that had loosened up from a patch in the road was kicked up probably by a large truck and it flew through the windshield. It actually bent the steering wheel in half and it hit Tom's right hand and then it flew up and it hit uh, the right side of his face and head. Tom was unconscious immediately and did need uh, some resuscitation. And thankfully, with the help of my sister-in-law, I was able to get the car pulled over to the side of the road and we called 911. Of course, this all sounds very calm, but when it was happening, you know, it, it was not. And he was taken to the local uh, trauma center in Newark, New Jersey. Tom was there for two months. He was um, in a coma most of that time. Did have uh, several complications. And then ended up staying in the New Jersey area for uh, six months. Hi, my name is Mark Lurtz. I'm a Tom Myers, physical therapist. Um, when Tom first came here and uh, Vicki Bolano, our social worker, brought him back and gave me a rundown of what had happened to him and what was going on, my honest first thoughts are this guy's probably going to come here for a few weeks and make no gains and he'll be discharged because it's been two years since his injury. When he first came here, it's almost hard to remember now what he couldn't do. Um, that he is doing now. It's been so long, even though it's just five months or so. Also, his obviously his walking, he does very well. He still has loss of balance now, but when he first showed up here, if he could stand up from a chair, with he needed assistance of about 50% help. So he was doing half the work, and the person helping him was doing half the work. Um, and it wasn't very easy uh, to get him out of a chair. Um, standing independently without any type of assistance did not happen. Uh, for the most part, uh, maybe for a moment or two. Uh, now he can stand probably as long as he wants to, as long as he's concentrating. Um, I've timed him up to 20 minutes, and during that 20 minutes, we were actually uh, hitting each other back and forth like we we're practicing football a little bit, smacking each other on the shoulders, trying to push each other over, um, and he can actually withstand that type of challenge now. Whereas before, obviously, he couldn't even stand up to take a challenge. Um, his walking, you know, he could walk with a walker when he first came here, a little bit with some help. Um, but he constantly needed verbal cues to take a step or right himself so he wasn't falling over. So when you watch, when you see him walk down the hall now, um, I don't tell him too much of anything, he just goes. Uh, when he first came here, it was take a step with your left foot, your right foot, um, you know, correct your balance, look here, look up, lean, stand up tall, constant cues to get him to do what I wanted him to. And now the cues are now is look here, look there, because his vision is so limited. We keep trying new things, trying different things, and challenging him over and over, and doing a lot of repetitive activities to try to make them better, uh, make him practice, because it's working. Uh, Easter Seals recently uh, was given money to purchase a uh, and be trained in uh, suit therapy, which was a suit to, uh, designed by Russian cosmonauts back in the 60s, 70s to help prevent muscle atrophy in space. Um, it was then applied to uh, adults and children with cerebral palsy uh, to see if, if there were any gains from that. Uh, and since that time, it's turned into something that has been beneficial for uh, adults and children with cerebral palsy and also other disorders. Uh, and we currently 
have the cage or the universal exercise unit here um, and three suits for pediatric children. Uh, we're hopefully to get an adult suit, which I would love to try on Tom to see what type of effect that would have on him, uh, being that they're both neurological disorders, so there's definitely an application for Tom. Um, makes, this, he's the type of patient for me that's made me want to come to work every day. I basically come to work on the days he's here for sure because those are my favorite days. Well, he's been very patient with me, working with my left hand. <laughs> And what do you think about Mark? Do you enjoy working with him? Yeah. Well, my life, I've been challenged by things. And when I'm challenged by them, I, I, I tend to rise and try to meet those standards. Anything else you'd like to say? That's about it. Oh, it is? Okay. He's just so sad that uh, society has taught me a lot more about patience and how to uh, live with myself after some things that have happened. We did want to say we're sorry we're not going to be able to be at the dinner and um, that we really appreciate the fact that Tom has been chosen to be the adult representative um, for Easter Seals. It's quite an honor and um, we look forward to uh, seeing everyone in March for the walk. Thanks again. Oh yes, thank you so for uh, the help and helping me to uh, deal with my uh, my brain and the overcoming it, my use of my left hand so I could try to get back to my former life as an athlete.